If you want to fight with the wolves, you got to be a wolf. So Dolph, first of all, thank you so much for taking the time to talk with me today. You're an absolute legend. So this is an honor. Thank you. Appreciate uh, it. And so you serve as the lead actor, director, and co-writer of Wanted Man. What made you want to get back behind the camera for this? Uh, well, let's, it was a script that I had for um, many years. And I, uh, I, I, it was developed back in about 15 years ago. And then, you know, I, I got caught up in the Expendables franchise and all of that. And then, um, you know, lately immigration has been a hot topic. So I thought I'll revisit the script. And the writer and I kind of reshaped re, uh, it a little bit. To, to make the main character a little more interesting, a little more provocative. And then we decided to to try to make it and uh, finally get a shot a couple of years ago. I got the marshals to agree to send you down and bring those two witnesses back here. Well, I love how much you make the lead a just an ugly person while still having a heart. Like, because usually you don't see that in these kinds of movies, and I think it's very apt. Thanks, man. No, you, yeah, I thought that. Um, yeah, I know people like that, and I and I'm saying that those, you know, unless you're a little provocative, then you know you can't really. It's hard to address an issue. You have to look at both sides. So. You know, I try to make create a guy who's not re very likable, but he, but you kind of understand that he's not a bad guy. But he yeah. got these friends that kind of reinforce his his thinking, and then his his way he works doesn't help. And then, you know, but he ends up meeting people uh, throughout the course of the story that changes him into somebody who is a thinking man, who's more a compassionate man. You know. Well, can you talk about some of the advantages that you have as an actor when you're directing yourself? Okay. Uh, well, for, first of all, well, I do have like experience. So yes. uh, when I, I when I direct myself, well, first I try to prepare very early for all the characters, and I write a, a bio for all of them, and then I speak to the actors in like a month before to for them to start thinking about you know this guy who who they're playing and their relationships to the other characters so that when we show up on set you know it's kind of clear what's going on and you can just react these smaller movies you don't have a lot of time i don't like to harp too much on do too many takes so i try to get everything set up uh i don't like to hurt i don't want to rehearse too much i like to set up everything uh, so that it's ready to go and then try to shoot almost immediately. So I don't want to, I don't want to, I want that feeling when that first, uh, the first kind of experience when you're, when you're encountering the other actor or the situation. You're looking at me? Mm -hmm. Somebody else around here? Well, and you and Kelsey Grammer have a great dynamic in this one. If anything, I wanted more scenes with you guys bouncing off each other. So is there any other major actor that you want to share a scene with that you haven't quite had the chance to yet? Wow, there's so many great actors. I mean, uh, this town is full of them. Mm -hmm. So I, there, there are many actors I would yeah. love to work with. And uh, he was just one, you know. Um, that has to be very satisfying too to be able to ad lib with someone that you then are have like actually really enjoy working with and when you have that limited time together yeah obviously i've done a lot of scenes with stallone but i always like work with him yeah it's always fun too because we have this kind of interesting chemistry on on camera sort of i don't know what it yeah. is the italian and the scandinavians <laughs> some kind of dynamic that works <laughs> Well, that brings me to my next question. I absolutely loved Creed 2 and was very excited when Drago was announced. Has there been any movement on that spin-off film? Yeah, good I, uh, good point. You know, I it was it was really tracking well for a while and uh there was a script and then there were comments on the script and and it kind of had to deal with Ukraine and and things like that, but right now because of Creed, the Creed universe is is Michael B. Jordan, and now I don't know what's going to happen. So I haven't heard anything, but I hope I, I hope it happens in the future. 
Well, where would you personally like to see Drago's story head? I think the coming to America story is interesting where we decide, because of the war over there, we decide to come this way. Um, and uh, I think, um, well, certainly, I think the father-son relationship is interesting. Um, yes. We'd rather explore that. And, um, you know, um, possibly also Drago is an older man and would, you know, bitter about his past and, you know, trying to help use his son to prove himself. I thought that was an interesting uh, thing that was brought up in the movie, in the last picture, which maybe we can get further. I'm a massive It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia fan, and that obviously led to you cameoing on the show. But what was your initial reaction when you found out that you'd become something of a legend on the show? <laughs> I was I was very surprised. I had no idea of any of that, and I'd never seen the show. So I'm sorry. I, oh, I mean, sorry. I'd seen maybe one episode, but I, I never, I didn't know anything about it. So I was surprised, really. Who is the most underrated actor of all time? It's Dolph Lundgren. Correct. Why? Well, because of his uh, spiky hair yeah. and his ice cold demeanor and his big muscles. Absolutely. Oh, I have another project that I'm working on, uh, another script, uh, which is kind of a dark comedy, bit of film noir set in L.A. So I'm, I'm excited about that and working on developing that. Oh, that's awesome. Can't wait for that. But I'm, I'm also really curious. You're starring in a new show for the Maximum Effort channel called Flip a Coin, where you flip a coin. So what was your initial reaction when you were approached for that? Well, well I laughed. I thought it was <laughs> funny and thought who came up with this. And I realized it was Ryan Reynolds and his people. And I thought, OK, well, maybe there's something good about it. And maybe people will love it. And they <laughs> shot it in a very kind of interesting style. Um, and, uh, and it's, uh, I think it's coming out in uh, as a partner with bar stools. It has to do with sports and betting on sports. So, uh, yeah, let's see how, how people uh, respond to it. Oh, that is awesome. Well, I wish you absolute success with both Flip a Coin and Wanted Man. And thank you so much for talking with me today. This has been wonderful.